Most of my adult life, I've had trouble saying no. Now that doesn't mean I'm a yes man, but that two letter word is really difficult for me. But here's the thing, it's a really important word in retirement. Saying no is the one skill that you need to learn if you genuinely want to enjoy your retirement. It enables you to live on your terms. It's a powerful word, even though it's only two letters. The power of no. Saying no is tough, isn't it? It might be hard to believe, but for most of my life I've had difficulty saying no. I was like a bobblehead on steroids, nodding to every invitation on request, accepting every opportunity that came my way. Whether that be friends, family or business acquaintances, I really found it difficult to say no. I was at my worst with my former business partner, going along with just about everything that he suggested. Hiring bad people, buying cars, partying when I didn't want to party, you name it, I did it. And all I had to say was no, but I didn't. Not saying no led me down a dark path of stress and frustration. And when I finally started to say no, my business relationship disintegrated. You think I would have learned my lesson, but I continued into my retirement years. The first few years after I retired were particularly tough. My social life was closely tied to my work life. And when I left, all my social connections went too. Desperate to fill the void, I started saying yes to activities that I didn't particularly enjoy, like watching rugby and cricket. Why did I do it? To avoid loneliness and boredom. And I ended up hanging out with people that I had absolutely nothing in common with. After all, anybody's good enough when you haven't got anybody at all. I remember attending an international cricket match in Scarborough. For my US and overseas viewers, Scarborough is a coastal town in Northern England. I slipped away when the cricket match resumed after lunch and went on a long walk along the beach for a few hours. I don't think the people I was with even noticed I was gone. That walk was far more enjoyable than watching hours of cricket. What a boring game that is. That day was a wake up call. On the train home, I decided to do something about it. As I entered my 50s, I became acutely aware of time. I was well aware that the clock was ticking and I was fast approaching my final quarter. It made me realise that time is too precious to waste hanging out with people that you don't particularly like, doing things that you don't particularly like. It just doesn't make sense. I decided I wanted to do something about it whilst I was still fit and healthy. So I embraced the power of saying no. It wasn't easy, but hey, life's too short to be a doormat, right? I had two big fears that stopped me saying no. Let me share them with you. And later in this video, if you hang around, I'll get into the benefits of why it's good to say no and why it's critical when you're retired. My first big fear was the fear of losing relationships. Picture this, you're at a crossroads, torn between saying no and possibly losing a relationship. It's scary, but real relationships should respect boundaries. Do you really want to be involved with people who only want things their way and will throw away their relationship with you just because you weren't available? Hell no. My second big fear was the fear of missing out. FOMO. We've all scrolled through social media and felt FOMO hitting us like a brick. All those people who seem to be having fun and we're not. We worry that saying no will make us social hermits. But trust me, quality beats quantity. By saying no to what doesn't align with your true desires, you make room for what truly matters. The thing is, these fears were only there because I had a lack of clarity about what I wanted to do in my retirement. I didn't really know what I wanted to do or with whom. It was all caused by a lack of planning. That was my problem. I had no plan for my retirement. It just happened. Happened. Navigating retirement without a clear path is like wandering around in the dark with a blindfold on. I was certainly lost at 44, I can tell you. But clarity did come eventually. It just took about five years in my case. Far too long, but at least I got there in the end. To avoid what happened to me, I would advise you to step back, explore your passions ahead of retirement, and soon enough you'll know what to say no to. Now let's dive into the four key benefits of saying no in retirement. Number one, it helps prime prioritize what really matters. Life is a buffet and you can pile everything on your plate if you want, but saying no helps you focus on the dishes that you really like. The ones that truly tantalize your taste buds. It's like being the master chef of your own life. Take your time to choose the dishes. Be very selective. Don't choose too many and enjoy the buffet. The second benefit is it reduces unnecessary stress. Imagine managing a dozen spinning plates, each one a commitment that you said yes to. Stressful, right? Saying no reduces them to a manageable number that you can keep spinning. And as each plate keeps spinning, it serves its purpose and that purpose is to enable you to have an enjoyable retirement. Nothing broken, less stress and more fun. Now that's a good retirement mantra. The third benefit is 
it boosts self-confidence. Each time you say no, you reinforce your boundaries and that boosts your self-esteem. It empowers you to make choices, choices which are aligned with your true self. There's no quicker way to be dragged down than by doing things you don't like with people you don't particularly like. Eliminating these time wasters from your life is empowering and means you focus on your needs, not theirs. The fourth benefit is it encourages healthy boundaries. It's a filter which works by eliminating unhealthy relationships and it sets the stage for more beneficial and productive relationships. True friends know you well. They know what you like and they know what you don't like and they wouldn't take advantage of that. They would never pressure you into doing things that you don't like and they would never run a mile just because you don't want to do them. It's better to have a small circle of true friends who really know you than a bunch of acquaintances that don't. Learning to say no was challenging for me but the journey has been transformative. Saying no has reduced my stress, boosted my confidence and allowed me to live the retirement years on my terms. So my fellow retirement adventurers, I urge you to learn how to say no. Embrace the power of this small word. It may not be easy, but it's worth it. Free yourself from the pressure of pleasing everyone and start pleasing yourself. After all, it's your retirement, not theirs. And don't be frightened of missing out because you're not really missing out on anything, really. It's all an illusion. Time is your most precious activity. Don't waste it on activities that you don't like. Don't waste it on people that don't bring you joy. Say no with conviction and watch your retirement transform into a mass masterpiece of your own creation. Watch this video next to learn about the three things you should stop caring about if you want a happy retirement. Thanks for watching.